the Lord. And in that law, he meditates both day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so. It's like the chaff that goes away with the wind. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Can I give y'all battle instructions? Uh, oh, Lord, our Lord. How excellent is thy name on all the earth? When we consider the moon and the stars and the heavens which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art man mindful of us? And the son of man that thou would even visit us. Y'all made us a little lower than the angels and have crowned us with glory and with honor. Can I give y'all battle instructions? Yes. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will free no evil for thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff, they come for me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My pet will have all surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Can I get y'all battle instructions? The earth is the Lord's, and the form is the Lord. The world of them that dwell therein, for he has founded it in the seas, and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend upon the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand within the holy place? Only he that have clean hands and a pure heart. No sworn deceitfully. Can I give y'all that way? So the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked eat of my enemies and my foes come upon me, the eat of my flesh, they stumble and they fail. Though a host in the camp against me, in this will I be confident. One thing that I desire of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell. All the days of my life, and behold the beauty of my Savior. Can I give y'all battle instructions? Has y'all not known? Has y'all not heard? The everlasting God, the Father, the creator of the ends of the earth, faith of not neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding, for he gives power to the faith. And to them that have no right, he increases their strength. For he the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint, but wait on the Lord and beat up the courage, and he will. That the Lord will, He will strengthen that heart. Come on, tell somebody, hold on to the word. I'm done with this. Because when we allow the Spirit to lead us, God will fight our battles for us. When I was a little boy, when I was a little boy, I was out in the yard, yeah. and, and I was playing with one of my friends. Y'all don't judge me. I was playing with one of my friends, and for some reason or another, we got upset, and we began to fight each other. And at this point of the story, I had the upper hand, and I was able to win that battle. Uh, but as I was on top of the little boy fighting against the little boy, his father was watching from the distance. And his father came across the street into my yard, threw me off of his son, held me down on the ground while his son began to beat on me. Oh, no. Yeah, this grown man, I was at the age of eight or nine years old, he held me down and while his son began to beat on me. Jesus. And for a moment, I was afraid and I was scared because this, this grown man had attacked me. Uh... What? But when my daddy got home, okay. That's it. ain't nobody happy with me. Uh, when my daddy got home, Crystal will tell you that my daddy's about six foot five. Yeah. yeah. 315 no pounds. He ain't no joke. Uh, and when I told my daddy what he happened, he said, he did what? We walked right up that street, and I was walking with my daddy right beside me. That's it. I didn't have 
have a care in the world. He knocked on the door. He says, what's this you got going on with my son? And the man was about five foot eight. He was bigger than me. He was about five foot eight, Miss Mary. He looking up at my daddy. He said, oh, I didn't mean no harm. I was just trying to teach my son how to be a man. He said, well, there's a way that you should treat your son. And there's a way that you should teach him how to be a man. And the way you did it was not the way it should be done. My daddy said, I'm going to tell you this one time and one time only. If you ever put your hands on my son again, I'm going to kill you myself and turn around and preach your eulogy. Ain't nobody happy with me. Uh, but the, I want you to know that from that moment, I was able to walk around the neighborhood, but I didn't have a care in the world because I knew that any other battle we got in, it was already taken care of. And I wonder if there's anybody on a Sunday afternoon that can testify that as long as the Lord fights for me, I don't have to worry and I don't have to fret. The storm clouds may rise and the pillows may roll, but I know that the Lord, He will He'll fight for me. He'll fight for me in the doctor's office. He'll fight for me at the schoolhouse. He'll fight for me when I go down to the bank. He'll fight for me. No. 
number two is have you tried them? Question number three.